Hey everyone, I'm Mentalis. Welcome back to Space Engineers. Let's bring this up. Whoops, wrong save file. Oh well. Um, basically, I just duplicate the save file before I start, so the PR stands for pre-recording. So we're in space now. Not sure if you noticed that, you know, in the nice view. Hey, look, it's Mars. Um, but yeah, so I assembled this off camera just because it's kind of sort of really tedious. And I'll show you what I set up for this. There was also some mining required. So, yeah. So here's our little rocket here. There's the planet we came from. We're only about 40... Woo! Yes, we have gravity here as well. Woo! Let me just massively overshoot this. Um, so we're about 44 kilometers... Let's get on the right side of the door this time, which is a bit tricky. Okay, we're in now. Okay, and then we've got our little base here. I was gonna make this better, because I mean, if you come down here, we've got our piping because that didn't quite line up. And then we've got our gravity generator, which is soaking up a whole ton of power. Let's actually down the field a little bit. Let's do just a flat out 100 each direction. Wow. And let's add to a little under 1G as well, like 0.75s. Oh wow, that saved us. So this is in the... Huh. Oh, I guess that's meters per second. We'll do like seven. Okay, so that saves just a ton of power and I think that means our battery will start charging again. What I do with the batteries is I just, nope. I just let it run. Like, I let the game run and see how full we can get it off camera. Okay, this one's a little bit easier. And then here we are back out in space. This is our solar panels. This is what provides us with our energy. And this is our, our ship dock. So, the plan actually just barely changed. The plan has been to build a small scout and look around until I realized how far away that is. And I think we've got a little moon like right in the middle of my crosshairs now above it, just by the Mars planet. Maybe that's something else, I don't know. They're the only two planets I've seen from spending a while looking around. Man, I love that view. Yeah, it's really cool. So now the plan is to build a base ship and go over and explore probably the moon rather than Mars but we'll see it it really depends on a lot of different things just because the moon will be easier to get all of those resources back to space and let's go back down and I'll show you I brought up everything I could which was pretty much everything and I also did some mining as well so I could you know get this space station so we've got ice, and we've got more ice. I think I even left some ice on the rocket, so... The rocket's... it's a decent way to get around, it just... it can't hold everything. And it's limited on fuel because of limited ice, and I don't know when I'm gonna find ice next. So I've gotta preserve that, basically. Oh, I don't need all of this, too. Let's... Oops, I do want that. We'll keep 10 clips on us just for fun. Okay, and then, so I think we're, I was thinking a small ship originally because it was going to be a scout. Now given large ship, or given it's not gonna be a scout, we're gonna make it a large ship. So let's see if I can rotate this correctly. I, I've i decided, ooh. That is the front. Okay. So we'll 
We'll build it on top of this one right here. Hmm. I thought this scaffolding came low enough that I would be okay. So, yes. Um, in case you can't tell, I really like using this blue. Like, it, it's, it's nice. I, I don't know why I like it so much, honestly. But, hey. I do. So, okay, so we'll just start with a basic platform. Oops, too fast. And it's probably gonna have some unwelded bits, at least at first. And then we'll see where we go from there. So, here's our platform. It will come forward from here because I like tip noses on my vehicles and ships. So let's, let's bring it forward right now given I know I'm going to do that. And... How do I want to do this exactly? We could do this. And let's see if I can rotate this correctly. Cool. And what now? Yeah. And rotate this. Yeah, <laughs> this is starting to look very familiar. It looks really like the mobile base, but oh well, it's because it's my style. And we'll probably slope these edges here too or something. Hmm. And let's see. So I want to design this ship as if I'm really going to live on it. So we'll have our command area up front and then like a living quarters behind it. I'm probably gonna make this seven wide as well. And that will give me some decent space for my quarters on the side and a hull and everything else. So that being said, Okay, I don't think I can quite reach that from here. Nope. Just a little too close for that to work out. So, we'll build off of this instead, I think. And grinder. Okay, this is only temporary, so I can access the storage here. I'm going to need some interior plates, like so. And what else do I need to start things, generally speaking? I'll grab some construction components. I think as far as starting things, that's all I need to get. So all this is going to be made out of light armor. And... We want a door, like so. Well, I'm gonna mirror the ship down the middle, even if it's just gonna be for me. I like mirroring things. And I can figure out what to do with the second room later as well. For now, we'll probably just house batteries, honestly. Okay. Looking good. So. Okay. Do that there. 
All right. Heh. <laughs> Internal space. Versus external space. Okay. Um, I'm going to do a window there, I think. It's three. Is there a... There's a one by three window, isn't there? Because I'll do a one by three window and just like have a bed, a light, and that will probably be it. How am I doing oxygen? 50, 55%. Okay. And then back here is where we'll put all the machinery. And I'm going to double wall it right here, actually, just because machinery is loud. And so the idea will be sound dissipation. And we'll put in another door because these basically function like backups in case things go bad. Because, you know, things never go bad. So why am I doing this? Well, because, yeah, reasons. Okay. And then... I think I can power this thing off of solar panels for the most part, but we'll put in a small reactor just in case. And then... I'm going to do like solar wings on this, I think. I like that idea. I like it a lot, actually. <laughs> Not to to my own horn, but I think it was really, it's a really cool thing to, to do. And then refinery, you're kind of the centerpiece of this whole thing. How wide is it? I think. So it's two Okay, well, we're going to have to do this a little unbalanced. So we'll put you there. And then the assembler. I don't think there are going to be access ports where I need them. Hmm. Yeah, that will just have to be the piping that makes up for that. Because if I'm not mistaken, those right there mean... Oh, hold on. Let's grab my grinder and my water real quick. So I'm going to take this out and we'll put it on this other side. But I think, yeah, so it's at the top. We need it at the bottom. That's just not going to work out either way, is it? Because now the the door will line up there, but only if it's like that. Shoot. Okay, well, we'll do our normal cargo container. Actually, no. No, 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 no. We can do this. Because if we lay it down flat, I think there's another door. And then I gotta rotate it. Oh, come on. Right there. Oh, it's gonna be sideways. Oh well. It's, it's gonna have to work. And then, so that's the refiner assembler. And you will make attached to the outside, either that or one of the top ones. And then we'll do, we need an oxygen generator still. So we'll do piping across the back there. 
or across the top. And we'll need a reactor. Okay, let's get these things down before I just forget and like go on my way and like, oh, what? Wait, why am I suffocating in space? Because, you know, that will be a brilliant moment. Okay, I don't need any of this glass anymore. All blocks. Okay. Oxygen generator, oxygen tank. Oxygen farm. Oxygen farms would actually be a really good idea as well. And then let's look at windows. One by three, perfect. I don't know if I need the inverted or not. I can never tell looking through these things. I need girders to place that down. I'll place that down in a bit. Okay. So oxygen tank. We're going to put you on your side. Right here. Oh, I need steel plate. Do I not have... I use up all my steel plates. Wow. Took a lot more than I thought it did. Which means, like, none of this is going to get finished. Well, I know the refinery and the assembler will be able to get finished, as well as some solar panels. But still. Place you right there. Which gives us enough room for the oxygen generator. And that will have a port. Perfect. Let's rotate it. Actually, no, you're going to you're going to be on your side because that will give us a vent back here. And then we'll do something ridiculous like stick the reactor on top of our oxygen because radiated oxygen sounds awesome. Um, hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> this takes up so much time. I am sorry about that. Let's just get in a couple of things. I'm going to use the the old style doors here. And then we'll round out. Okay. There's symmetry still to be done. So much symmetry is needed. But We know we're going to go at least one higher than that because of the piping, but maybe I'll call... No, I, I will make everything that tall and have spacious roofs instead, which will be nice because that never happens. Oxygen is low. Okay, um, I guess I'm going to head back inside and refill on oxygen, assuming I have a way to. Okay. But, oh man, so much time. Oxygen high, take off my helmet. I wish my oxygen would replenish with my helmet off in an oxygen rich environment, because, you know, high tech everything. You know, I have jump drives, but I can't make a suit that pulls oxygen out of the atmosphere and just stores it. Oh well. Anyways, I think that's going to do it. We've got the basis of our ship started. I'll probably finish it up off camera. And then next time we'll get to moving around and head towards Mars and the moon, which isn't by Earth for some reason. But anyways, I'm Antel, so I'll catch you later.